Response News, Orange Telecom is one of the few Kenyan teams that have personified excellence in team sports. They've earned 20 local titles and 10 regional titles. Tonight, Hassan Juma revisits their journey and rebirth with their rebrand following the exit of their sponsor. For over a decade, they have ruled hockey in the country and within the region, sending shivers in the spines of their opponents. So dominant was the team that they contributed the biggest number of players to the national hockey team. Telecom Orange, as they were known then, thanks to telecommunications provider bankrolling the side, was such a force that they won 10 Africa club championships and 20 domestic league titles. The team was formed way back in 1989, as women's club hockey was taking root in the country. Just opened up their longest serving coach, says Telecom Orange hockey team's success was no fluke and earned the right to be at the apex of club hockey in the country. The mature players were up to task to really playing their best and not relenting. The young players felt it was time for them to take the mantle. Nothing was coming easy. Tracy Karanja took over the armband from Betsy Omalam and has led the team to numerous titles. For her, the ladies had the drive and zeal to leave a mark in the game. Train very intentionally to be able to win each and every game, to be able to practice our systems, to be able to be the team that we have set the standards to be. Telcom Orange club dominance was a blessing for the country with most of the players forming the bulk of the national women's team, where they continue with their ambitious exploits. All clubs, you know, look at uh, the big uh, lady and they say we want to be like her. So they train her with a view to uh, to topple them from the top. I remember Jackie Mwangi joining the team <laughs> and, you know, a very little forward. Proved a ton in the flight for opponents, but still would come in as a sub. That showed you the crop of players Telecom had. The team was so good that other clubs had to up the game only to try and cope with this team which was obliterating the competition and making the league more of a one-sided affair. The winning script was the same for about two decades as Telcom Orange, their sponsors, ensured seamless operations. In return, the club gave the corporate entity the much-needed publicity, marketing the team locally and internationally when they donned their colors. To crown it all, the team was fated during the 2019 Sports Personality of the Year Awards Gala for Jesus in Mombasa. It was double jeopardy for the hockey queens who had ran the local scene as their long-serving coach, Josh Openda, who led the team from 1989 with short breaks in between quit the side. Sponsors pulling out was such a hard blow to the team and it really discouraged some of us um, because it was, to some it was a source of income and it really supplemented also our incomes and it also really motivated us to uh, pursue hockey seriously. That team will not be as comfortable as they used to be. They had a lot of money, they could travel where and when they wanted to travel, which they cannot now. The team has now rebranded to Blazers Hockey Club with the same hunger and dreams and already bagged a title under the same banner. We have very unfinished business. We still want to remain top in the continent, top in Kenya, and we are not letting it go that easy. Telcom Orange will go down in the annals of history for their contribution to the growth of the sport in the country and beyond. Hassan Juma, KTN Sports.